In this video I will be talking about the by some missed dark ride Sagoslottet. Sagoslottet will in English be fairy tale castle. Me personally does not miss this ride anymore since Underlandet has replaced Sagoslottet and I can keep my tradition going. But to explain the full history of Sagoslottet we need to go back in time. Way back in time. Sagoslottet's story starts way before it was Sagoslottet. The ride's story dates back to 1968 as the ride Peter Pan. In 1968 Lise Bay opened a ride called Peter Pan. Peter Pan was a dark ride on rails, which took its inspiration from It's a Small World at Disneyland. Yes, only the worst dark ride in the world, I know. Peter Pan was reportedly the most lavish attraction in Europe, basically the one that was spent most money on. Most of the ride was inspired by fairy tales, but also featured Swedish Midsummer and Christmas, with a Santa giving out gifts. Ahead of the 1970 season, the attraction was updated with a space department. At a time when lunar travel was relevant, a lunar landscape was presented with astronauts, cosmonauts, spaceships and aliens. Peter Pan was located in the south area of the park until 1980. For 1981 the ride was moved, refurbished and got a name change. 1981 a new ride opened at the park, Our Little World, or Vår Lilla Värld. Or it wasn't really new, it was almost the same ride as Peter Pan. It was just refurbished, moved and had a new name. This version of the ride operated until 1984 and after that season it was time for a rebuild. The facade got the looks of a castle, but the inside had parts of fairy tales like Aladdin, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland and more. 1985 the ride reopened as Sagoslottet and this of course was the ride that we had until the very end. There is not much to mention about the ride itself because there is not much to it. We ride these boats through the castle and enter different fairy tales. The fairy tales that you could experience was Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, Sleeping Beauty, Aladdin, The Emperor's New Clothes and Cinderella. In between we had some transitions made in uphill and downhill slopes. My favorite is easily the tunnel with the black light and that is because of a memory. This is from a memory of mine so I am not really sure that what I'm saying now is correct. But when I was a child you got a stamp with your wristband. The reason for the stamp, I, I think, I'm not sure, was a way for Lisebae to see that it really was your wristband and to make it harder to steal them or transfer them in between each other. The thing with the stamp was that it was invisible and only seen under black light. Since my tradition of riding Sagoslottet before leaving the park, I thought it was cool to see the stamp light up in the tunnel. In 1987 there were plans of removing the ride for the 1992 season. It would be replaced by a new building, housing not only a ride but shopping, games and fast food. Today we should be lucky that this didn't happen, because if it did, I do not think Valkyria would exist. Sagoslottet was a tradition for me. Every time before leaving the park I would take a ride in Sagoslottet. Honestly though, was it any good? No, not in my opinion. This was a very outdated ride that should have been closed or refurbished years before it was. In my opinion it was pretty creepy towards the end and maybe should have been a haunted house instead of a fairy tale castle. Did this stop people from being upset when it closed? 
There was some kind of outrage on social media when Lisebay announced the closure, and people got really sad, and some people even got angry with them. After 50 seasons at Lisebay, the ride finally closed on 27 of August 2017 to make way for a new roller coaster. The day after the closure, Lisebay started to demolish the ride. But not all is lost. A few dolls and two gondolas or boats were saved and are preserved in Lisebay's archives, which is a place that I hope that we can talk more about in a future video. Lisebay also thought that Sogoslotted got quite creepy at the end, so a few of the boats and dolls from Sogoslotted are used around the park during the Halloween season as props. Sagoslottet have today gotten a worthy replacement in Underlandet. Underlandet is a great dark ride which is located inside the Bunnyland and that is the perfect spot since the ride is aimed at kids. But aimed to kids or not? This is now my new tradition. Before leaving the park, I ride Underlandet. Thank you for watching this video and thank you Sagoslottet for your service. May you rest in peace and haunt our dreams. <laughs>